All right, super excited. I'm about to show you something and I think it's pretty cool. You're gonna see it, it's not me bragging because I'm gonna explain to you how you can do it with your kids very easily. And understand I have kid who has autism, I have kid who has ADHD. All right, I just realized I forgot to show you a product of the day and I have something super cool. I have two things that are very cool. First of all, this book. This is Mouse and His Dog. Chapters are three pages each and it's all about the, the a family at the dog pound and how they all make their mistake of escape. And it's a, it's such an interesting story, very fast paced, very not stressful. It's just like, oh, the humans are coming, hurry. Do you know what I mean? Like tense for some kids. My one son it says it's too tense for him, um, but we made it 75% through. I'm telling you, it's a great book, great book. And the second thing I have is this game. It is by uh, Moby. So right there, Moby, it's their math game. And what it is, is you put all these in a pile. These are plus, minus, and equals. And these are like someone is blue and someone is green. And it's whoever gets everyone, gets them in an equation first. Like every, every one of your letters make out an equation, an attaching equation. Anyone can grab from here and do that. And then, yeah. And then whoever does it first correctly, of course, uh, wins. There you go. It's a great game. I played quite a few times. It's one of my favorite, favorite math games. All right, there you go. Back to your, now back to your video. I think it's pretty cool. You're gonna see it. It's not me bragging because I'm gonna explain to you how you can do it with your kids very easily. And understand I have kid who has autism. I have kid who has ADHD and they nailed um, this exam. And generally I don't test. This was the first exam we did. And this is just shows you my study system, the way we do it. And I'm telling you, it takes like 15 minutes for them to do um, science. No, for them to do math, reading and writing, reading, writing, math. Um, and beyond that, and that's total. And then beyond that, um, our science is done at lunch or breakfast, wherever I'm reading. Like I'm just reading um, through different science textbooks. So I'm gonna show you the system, but first I'm gonna show you the test so you can see exactly what I did. This is the first test. I didn't tell them the results because it doesn't matter. It was just for my record so that I know what's going on and it's not aptly named. So for example, I graded it grade one through three. I left off anything simple, like anything about habitats I left off, but this was like two or more atoms paired together make a molecule. So I did the writing because if your kids have ADHD, if they have autism, if they have really anything, um, handwriting doesn't come easy. So I did the handwriting. I just asked them the questions and uh, they answered. So the air around the earth called the atmosphere. Why is the sky dark and out of space? There's no molecules. Name some examples of liquid matter, dog pee. Um, so stuff like that. Okay. So three things contribute to the weather, wind, heat, and water. So let's see, let's go on. Okay. Definition of mitosis. So one cell, two cells, and then definition of reproduce. And, and my kids are seven, uh, seven and eight. Um, most of the B DNA comes from its dad. How many pairs of chromosomes do humans have? 23. So, um, four things that make up human blood, red blood cells, white blood cells, plasma, and platelets. Um, sometimes they would need a hint for this and I would say dinner. <laughs> platelets um, for, the for the youngest who just turned seven. Okay, so, and then there's another page because we're talking about, this was just, I put this together of a collection of science things that we did this year. Uh, the Mariana Trench located where? The Hadal Zone. Is a shark a fish? Yes, it is. Why? What are two fish required to be considered fish? A backbone and gills. Okay, why is a jellyfish and a, a starfish been renamed to sea jelly and sea star? Why? Because they are not a fish orca belongs to what family? Because sometimes I put in things that they knew really well that they'd loved, right? Like an orca belongs to which male family? Do you need to know that? No, but it's interesting and they love that. Um, what's the longest animal in the ocean? The siphonophore. What's the biggest animal? The blue whale. And then lastly, we got, um, so we have, what do plants give us oxygen? This is important because I'm going to show you how we do this. Okay, so what do plants give us oxygen? What do we give plants that they need to make oxygen? Carbon dioxide. Okay, what's an animal that hunts another animal? It's a predator, all right. Is a spider an insect? How many insects, how many legs do insects have? They have six. Is a caterpillar becomes an insect? Why is a caterpillar considered an insect? Because it becomes a butterfly which has six legs. So these were, so this was the test that they did. This was the first exam, the first test I've really ever had them do. Now, how did I do it? So how did I get them to know that much information being six and eight, having ADHD, having autism? How did I get them to know it? Okay, so let's start. So any science curriculum you have, do it easy. All right, so everything's going easy in our life because life is not about how much you know. Um, so we're going through and let's say we study, is this the right book? Yeah. So this is just one, this is by Abeka, but I'm telling you I have all types of books from all types of sciences, all types of curriculum. I'll go through about three or four science curriculums this year. 
Um, so let's go to, all right, so let's say we're reading through, I'm trying to give you an example. I'm trying to hurry because there's a guy coming to fix our toilet and I don't know when he's gonna be here. And my dogs are gonna go crazy. Okay, so let's go to how things work. And now one of them is crying, but it's a fake cry. So it's not important. It's a fake cry. So states of matter. Um, I'm just going through. Okay, anyway, you go through and it has stuff here and then it's got these questions. Do you remember? And these are some questions. Just a minute, honey, I'll be on a minute. And so these are some questions. It's a fake cry, don't you all worry. Um, so some examples of solid matter, some examples of liquid matter, okay? The atmosphere, things like that. So I read through this at breakfast while we're eating. I read it, then at the end we answer the questions together. If we don't get the answers, we look back, we do it together. So, um, but yes, you do have to wait till they swallow their food. So it's done orally. And then I'll look at these questions and say, you know what, I'm gonna put some of this in here. So for example, in here, there was a plant recipe, they called it. Um, yeah, a plant recipe. So if I could find it, I'd show you, but essentially it's in this somewhere. So there's some stuff like vocabulary, helicopter, parachute, hitchhiker. So how seeds travel, this seed twirls like a helicopter. We're not gonna memorize that. That's just kind of interesting, but we're not gonna memorize that. I choose what we memorize out of all these science stuff that we go through, okay? So I choose what we memorize. And then what I do is I take it. So this was mitosis. This is from one of the, the older books we're reading. It's grade three. It is Generations. It is My Body and Me or something like that. I've showed you in a lot of videos. So I take what I think is important. So for mitosis, one cell divided becomes new cells. Here's the important part. I put two cells there. I use Canva to do this. It doesn't take a lot of work. We're talking five minutes maybe. And I put a mnemonic device, the cell. Let me, so they know tons of stuff about, now Canva has sheets already on there for free. You can get, these are layers of the atmosphere, which we didn't really know. And then once a week, we will go through this book. So it also has prayers in here that I want them to learn, the Lord's prayers, the 13 colonies, whatever it is, because it's history too, okay? It's whatever. So breakfast and lunch can be spent. I'm trying to get you off page. Come on, turn, 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 turn it. Sign language things we're doing. Uh, ben Franklin. So keep in mind that some of these I put in, so say I put it, this in last month. So for a few months, we're gonna read through it and I'm gonna say, okay, just these. it sums it up. It's whatever I think is important to remember or what I want us to remember. Ben Franklin, the rainforest, which to be honest, after I did this, I was like, eh, why do you really need to know that there's the emergent layer, the canopy layer, the understory layer, and the forest floor? Like, you don't really need to know that for life success. So some of the stuff I dropped, but like invertebrates, uh, my son's scared of spiders, so I put that there instead of an arachnid. So this again was already done on Canva, but this is an example as to what I created. So the plant recipe. So remember we talked about those questions. Carbon dioxide, this is what animals and humans give the plant so that the plant can make oxygen for us. What do plants give us oxygen? What do animals and humans give plants? Carbon dioxide. If you do this every week, you don't even have to do it like a couple times a week, but you can if your, son, if your child needs it, then, then it should be easy if you decide to just to do up an exam just to do it, that they're gonna know all this stuff. But I only did this just to see, because this is our first exam. I just wanted to see how it went. I've tested them before, but a very easy, fun, fun, fun test. So this was a little bit more. I mean, it was still relaxed because they were still hanging out and I did one child at a time and stuff. So it was still relatively relaxed, but that's the system. So you don't have to spend a long time studying to get them to know stuff. And there's certain things that they're gonna grow, that their knowledge is gonna build on. But when they're in grade one and when they're in grade two and grade three, generally they'll repeat that knowledge. Like it'll come up again. Like the states of matter will come up again. Sorry, sir, you have to wait. What happened? Well, but there's like two. Oh, plumber's here. Like, gotta go, gotta go. Bye-bye, have a great day. Yes, Please like to the five. Yes. And, and hit the bell for notifications.